of the American people will probably not survive any type of a catastrophic event if it was to take place today. In 1928 through 1931, there was over 6.7 million people died globally. It was the worst catastrophic event of our times. There was a lot of things that went on during that time. You had the Great Dust Bowl, you had the Great Depression, all those type of things. There was famine and all this. And in some of the, the three main contributing factors during that time period was number one was droughts, number two was floods, and number three was earthquakes. Out of the 331 million people right now that live just in this country, in the United States, there is almost 600,000 homeless people as we speak, and the number is growing because of the recent catastrophic event that we have gone through, meaning Charlie Victor 19. There's still so much that is going to be contributing to that whole factor. You have a lot of people that are starting to be evicted from their homes, their whole families, not just one person, whole families, living in their cars, living on the streets, living in the woods, trying to survive. If a huge catastrophic event was to take place right now, today, in this country, half of the 331 million people would not survive longer than 60 days. There is no way that the federal government, a local government, state government, county, anything else could supply people in a catastrophic event with everything that they need, food, water, shelter, medical, the whole nine yards. Why should you be prepared? Or should I say, why do you not want to be a statistic? It's a proven fact, folks. If you are not prepared, if you are not ready, if you are not armed with every piece of arsenal in your whole toolkit, you will not survive. You will be a statistic. I don't like being or bringing you bad news. I don't want to seem like it's gloom and doom. But when you really sit back and look at what has happened throughout history, history repeats itself, folks. Don't forget that. Never forget that. Go back and do your homework on history and everything else, and you can put two and two together, and I guarantee you're going to get four. So why will half of the people not survive? They're not going to be prepared. They're not going to have food. They're not going to have water. They're not going to have ways to filter water. They're not going to have medical. They're not going to be able to treat if somebody gets hurt. They're not going to have shelter or be able to fix their shelter. They're going to be trying to live on the streets. Yes, the homeless people are kind of used and adapted to living on the streets. But if there's no way for them to, or no people to, beg, borrow from, to help them out, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, somebody give them some food or any of these type of things. Those people's health are going to go down very fast and they'll be one of the first ones to go, sorry to say. It is a very sad situation. And one of the most sad situations is, is that out of all those homeless people, that... 40 some odd percent of those are American vets. These people were trained to survive. Things happened. These people see stuff that we will never see. We pray to God that we never see. So you have to ask yourself, do you want to survive? Do you want to be half of the ones that survive? Now, yes, there are, there are all these people out there and they do sit back and they're always saying, well, you know what? If it's that bad, I don't want to be around. I don't want to have to live through it. And that's fine and dandy. You're going to have that percentage of people that just want to give up and die. You're going to have the other percentage of the people that, for whatever reason, weren't able to prepare. They're going to have your smaller percentage of people that were well-prepared, ready, had a plan, had everything they needed, 
so that they can survive with their family or families, you know? I mean, this depends on your situation. So the key here is, if you don't want to be a statistic and you don't want to be half of the people that won't survive out of the 331 million people in this country right now, minus the 600 homeless, you have to start preparing now. Because in the end, folks, it all comes down to history, your mindset, and your ability to succeed in controlling your own destiny. I can sit here and I can preach videos all day long. But in the end, you have to take the bull by the horn. Come up with a plan. Make sure that you have your food, water. Make sure that you have your emergency supplies. Make sure that everything that you can do, you did. Because one of these days, with the whole way that this world's going, you're going to be put to the test. And hopefully you pass. That's why I do these videos. Trying to prepare you for the unknown, unseen, unforecasted, so you're not blindsided, folks. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me for this video today. And until next time, you thrive to survive. You keep prepping. Make sure you got your plans in place. And we'll all be just fine. Catch you on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.